The next course we are going to offer is Martin Grassinger, looking at health aspects, uh, sharing his rave biology course uh, for the first time for a wide English-speaking audience. And I've done a little interview uh, with him to, you know, let him uh, tell you all about it. Please forgive the quality; it's not very good, but I hope it will do. Martin. You are the human design health specialist and you've been teaching um, human design related to all kinds of health issues for a long time. And um, this year in our summer sh uh, school you taught uh, rave biology, um, a closer look once again at themes uh, from your health perspective. And this turned out to be a very successful course, like all the ones before. Uh, so the idea came up that, uh, you know, it would be nice if you could do that in English as well. And, you know, online teaching is sort of growing and we reach more people online. So I have the great pleasure to announce that you are going to do Rave Biology online and in English as well. Yeah, and I would like uh, to ask you to tell us a little bit about the content of the course and, you know, what you are going to uh, show us and what kind of students uh, are, you know, uh, can take this course and will be able to take this course. Yeah, I enjoyed it very much and it was really, as you said, a big success in, uh, when we did it in a summer school and very helpful indeed. So all the, the students, they were really excited about the results mm -hmm. because we, uh, yeah, all of us, most all of us, we know <laughs> our PHS strategy and uh, from my perspective, it's something that uh, if you take a deeper look, that millions of people, they need to be, um, to eat in quiet or to eat uh, just according to their uh, notes or, or taste or whatsoever, so always millions. But all of these millions, they have different ways their intestines work. And uh, in 1995, um, in that time when Ra and I we worked very close together, we developed Rave Biology, which is a matrix within the body graph and shows exactly which parts are related to digestion, to, to nutrition, and it allows to individualize uh, the digestive process to every single human being. So the PHS strategy can really be individualized and not to be taken as a general issue. And this is something that's very helpful for every every person who is attending and knowing this and it's of course very helpful for uh, for for people if you do a specific reading or someone has a specific question so it gives much more insight mm -hmm. yeah that's i think the crucial part what you just mentioned this uh, individualizing of the phs uh, strategy i think that's exactly uh, what many people I don't know, should know, I mean, you know, should and uh, <laughs> could, but uh, it's such uh, such a helpful extra information to, uh, you know, we are all uh, individuals and we function individually, and that's what, you know, human design is all about, and to apply this individual uh, viewpoint uh, on crucial things like uh, PHS, yeah, that's definitely an extra information and something that, uh, you know, should be spread widely. Just to give one example, if someone really, according to its individual design, is in the need of fluid, very, very important, but according to its PHS strategy, it's not the third part which is about being fluid. Mm -hmm. So we we are not, in a sense, 100% helpful to this person. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, okay, this is uh, wonderful and I'm very excited that uh, you will do this at last in English and, you know, really open up um, the, the potential to spread your uh, practical uh, information. I mean, you are the one and I, I dare say the only one who's been really applying this in uh, everyday work with your patients, with your, you know, health patients. So this is not a theoretical stuff, but this is something that is, uh, you know, tested and proven and, um, you know, applied. Uh, and that's something that should be spread really, you know, all around the human design world. So I'm really looking forward to this. And, yeah, I hope you will uh, have lots of students and they will have just as much fun as we did in our summer school. 
Yeah, great. It's also in the sense of Ra because he authorized me to do this and because he didn't want to do it. He always said, yes, you know, I'm a mechanic and I know you are <laughs> dynamic and therefore you should do this. And therefore, I like to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Great. I'm looking forward to the course. So do I. Bye bye. Bye. And I also have a little feedback from one of the participants of the course. So please listen to what Amaya Blanca Alzola from Spain uh, has to say about it. Rave Biology by Martin Grassinger. Uh, how did you like it? What, what, what can you say about it? Well, I, I can say I was just waiting for it. I mean, <laughs> um, it just felt like rain in May. Um, I've been... Um, Actually, I asked himself uh, two years ago, when is it going to be that you can uh, <laughs> yeah, give us this chance to, to, to know more about it? Because um, it's, um, it's such a compliment to know more and more about the body. I mean, we, we're very much uh, onto uh, all kind of um, theoretical, mm -hmm. um, you know, background, and but it's... Um, yeah, it's always, as a PhD uh, practitioner, it's always nice to just have more to dig uh, into the biological side, into the, into the flesh. Mm -hmm. And that's what I think this uh, course gave me. I was uh, absolutely amazed with the detail uh, that Martin gave. Uh, I'm already having my own process with my digestive system. It's been five years I'm on t into PHS. And it just felt so right to just take this chance to know my digestion ways um, on spot, no? Mm -hmm. And yeah, I absolutely uh, recommend it for any, not only PHS practitioner or or else, but uh, anyone interested in in how their body functions, how how you know how the food chain will you know do the do its thing in your inner you and <laughs> yes uh, interesting enough as to as to recommend it yeah